How's it going, humans? So, I like doing these story time videos. It's kind of like um, a half-ass autobiography, you know. I'm not putting the time in to do all the writing and everything to actually write an autobiography. But I like telling stories of my life. Little interesting tidbits. But I'm going to do uh, separate videos for from the live chats. Because I think the live chats should be about you guys and chatting with you guys. So, uh, can you guess what today's video is about? Yes, me shooting my pants in prison. Alright, so, the setting. Fontaine... Uh, diagnostics. So, jail and prison are two different things. Jail is where you go pre-trial. Prison is where you go if they give you additional time to serve. Uh, in between, you go to diagnostics from jail. They take all your commissary away because they're two separate entities. So, you lose your shoes and anything like that that you had. And you go to, it's like a cattle pen, basically. You know, they send you there for a shorter amount of time. And then they divvy you up throughout the different prisons. So, I was in Bonterre Diagnostics. And Diagnostics sucks because you're there for a short amount of time i was there for like three and a half months i think there is no commissary so can't buy anything uh there's a pretty much almost no library there is no rec yard you, the only time you go outside is do a, like walk to a chow and so it is just boring you're pretty much sitting in your cell with your cellmate all day every day i mean that's all it is there's like nothing to do you know uh me and my cellies would work out but um yeah it sucked like bond hair was horrible so anyway, I'm there, and I get a new celly. It's a small little uh, sickly white kid, you know, having like hepatitis C. He was in bad shape. There was one time where he was standing up, and he just face planted, just out of nowhere. Boom! Smashed his head on the ground. Came back from the uh, medical center, had this huge nut on his head and everything. But uh, in addition to having hepatitis C when he came to our cell, he had a stomach virus. And we're all human, so I'm sure we've all had those experiences where it's like, you're taking a piss, only that it's coming out of the hole where it's supposed to be solid. Well, in a two-man cell, you know, you got to do that, and there's somebody, like, right there with you. So it sucks. You know, he was taking, like, six shits a day, just all water. And then, of course, because I'm in a cell with him, I got it. So it was horrible. I was, like, you know, pissing out of your asshole. And what really sucks is because there's no commissary and they're assholes, you had an allotted amount of toilet paper, two rolls a week. And so here we are, we're both sick as fuck. Like there's one of us is on the toilet, like constantly. And I'm like rationing toilet paper. I'm like, it, it is the worst toilet paper ever. You know, single ply, it's prison toilet paper. I mean, it was a horrible situation. But there was one night, I woke up, middle of the night. I was like, oh, motherfucker. Like I knew. Like, I woke up and I knew. I threw the covers back. Shit everywhere. It was, like, the most disgusting thing. You know, it was just... My heart sank. Like, I shit all over myself. Threw back the covers. Grabbed some toilet paper to, like, rub my legs to keep it from, like, dripping on the ground when I, like, walked to hit the guard button to call him, you know, like, call him up. Like, he comes over. I was like, man, I, I fucking shit my pants. Can I, like, take a shower, clean myself up? And this dude was such a fucking asshole. He was like, no. He... He didn't want to let me clean myself up. I was like, dude, look, I, we had white boxers. I, I'm like, look at me. There's shit everywhere. There's shit all over my bed. I've had the stomach virus for like two days now. You, you got to help me out. He, was, he refused. I was like, let me talk to the lieutenant. Because if you ask to talk to their higher up, they have to get the higher up. So it's like, let me talk to the lieutenant. So he went and got the lieutenant. Thank you, the lieutenant. Helped me out. Let me go take a shower, clean up, get some new bedding and all that. But by that time, I was, like, out of toilet paper, and toilet paper day was not the next day. So I was in, like, emergency mode. I'm like, what are we going to do? I mean, if I didn't have toilet paper, I guess I would have had to come up with a creative solution. But I was like, fuck. So I was like, all right, you know what? The next day, I was like, I I'm sick. I need to go to medical. You know, I mean, generally, when you go to medical, they're not going to do anything for you. It's prison. They don't care. So I went to medical, and I got to see the nurse. And I told the nurse, I was like, listen, you know, I, I understand there's really nothing you can do for me. You know, maybe emodium or something. I'm like, all I'm asking is for some fucking toilet paper. Can I, can I at least get that, please? Me and my cellmate are sick as fuck. We're shitting our brains out. Can you please just give us some toilet paper? And thankfully, the nurse gave us toilet paper. Because I didn't mention this earlier. I was fighting with the guards in our house for some toilet paper. And they just refused. It's like... Come on, man. Like, human to human, can you... Well, is it really that big of a deal giving us some toilet paper? Last night, 
I shit all over myself. I'm obviously having a bad time. You know, I obviously have issues. Can I please just get some toilet paper? And they just wouldn't do it. You know, it, it's, it's amazing to me how cruel humans can be to one another. It's like no empathy. It's like, you're such a fucking asshole. You want to give me fucking toilet paper? So anyway, just wanted to throw out a little story time video. Hope you guys are having a good one. Have a good one. Why did I double that up? Have a good one, humans.